ना श्लोक नंबर टेन अपर्याप्त तदस्माक बल भीष्मीरक्षित पर्याप्त बल भीमाक्षित इस श्लोक में दुर्योधन अपने गुरु से कहते हैं कि जो हमारी सेना की रक्षा कर रहे हैं पितामा भीष्म उनके बल की कोई तुलना नहीं और पूरी दुनिया में इस समय उन्हें कोई नहीं हरा सकता सिवाय ईश्वर के और दूसरी तरफ जो धर्मराज युधिष्ठिर की सेना की रक्षा कर रहे हैं अर्थात भीम उसे हम आसानी से हरा सकते हैं इसीलिए कहते हैं कि हमें अहंकार नहीं करना चाहिए अहंकार में तीन गए धन वैभव और वंश ना मानो तो देख लो रावण कौरव और कंस Now let's discuss about the cell cycle and cell division. So uh, basically, we'll study here the mitosis and the meiosis. And uh, uh, 24 uh, uh, cell cycle or uh, timing of cell, human cell cycle is 24 hour and 23 uh, last for karyokinesis uh, and last uh, only single hour for the uh, cytokinesis. Then 90 minute uh, cell cycle is of 90 minute in yeast and 20 minute is in bacteria. And in bacteria 80 minute for interface or other, and last two minute for the cell division. Then come to the mitosis. That is it include two phases. That is first interface and the uh, that is actual the whatever mitosis. Uh, is going to occur that is interface include the g1 phase s phase g2 phase g1 also got the gap one phase between the m phase and the uh, synthesis phase N- next is the s phase or synthesis phase then g2 phase or gap 2 phase and after then the meiosis where karyokinesis and cytokinesis will take place then g1 stage here the maximum protein synthesis atp synthesis and uh, dna polymerase enzyme synthesis and whatever required for the synthesis of a uh, uh, cell डीएनए इज प्रिपेयर्ड एंड देन इन एस फेस या देन एस फेस देर इज सिंथेसिस ऑफ डीएनए अकर एंड हियर डीएनए पॉलीमरेज एक्टिवेट्स एंड इन एस फेज सेंट्री ऑल एंड हिस्टोन प्रोटीन ऑल्सो डिवाइड्स दैन इन जी टू फेज देर इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ स्पिंडल फाइबर एंड अदर प्रोटीन्स विच वे विल रिक्वायर एंड ए टी पी इज ऑल्सो रिक्वायर बिकॉज to uh, to reach one chromatid to the pole uh, require 30 atp that's why it's a, a cell division is a very energy consuming process and then come to the that is and this interface is called the resting earlier it was called the resting state because no significant activity was seen but uh, it is main phase and it's not the resting phase metabolically very active phase it is then come to the m phase and it include we divided uh, on the basis of our e's into the four that is the prophase meta uh, metaphase anaphase and telophase prophase uh, the dna which had replicated in the s and g2 phase were intertwined and were not visible now in prophase they uh, start condensing and for condensing they start separating from each other and condensation start the centri- centrosome which uh, duplicated during the s phase now they start moving towards the opposite poles and uh, then uh, next uh, uh, how we will mark the end of the prophase that uh, the compaction of the prophase takes place and they are attached to chromatids are visible uh, visible attached to the centromere and uh, then in prophase or uh, the centrosome moves towards the opposite poles and they radiate the microtubule called ester and ester with the spin- my, uh, spindle fiber known as the uh, mitotic apparatus then uh, and uh, the study shows that at the end of the telophase uh, at the end of prophase the golgi apparatus endoplasmic reticulum nucleolus and nuclear membrane disappears but the diagram shows that even at the late phase late prophase it is uh, the nuclear membrane is not completely disintegrated then come to the next that is the metaphase the as uh the complete disintegration of the nuclear membrane sta- uh result in the uh, start of the metaphase and uh, that's why 
the now the chromosome spread all over the in the cytoplasm all over, over the cell and uh, now the maximum and meta uh, metaphase maximum condensation has take place and in this we can study morphology of the chromosome very easily for morpho and uh, shape if both we want to study then metaphase and uh, for morpho metaphase is uh, best and for shape anaphase is best then uh, they start that is congregation start congregation they move towards the uh, mitotic equator equatorial plate and uh, the that is called the mitotic plate and they move towards uh, the center and uh, they align at the center and uh, one chromatid of each chromosome attached uh, with the kinet with its kinetic core attached to one pole and the other uh, chromatid of the same uh, centromere uh, with its kinetic core attached to the spindle fiber with the other pore and uh, it uh, and this maximum condensation take place and they are attached with the kinetic core and aligned at the center then next move to the anaphase and it is the shortest phase in this uh, they start moving towards the splitting of the centromere takes place and they start moving towards the opposite pole and uh, uh, Centro mirror toward uh, is towards the uh, anterior portion and that's why it's leading and that uh, cent chromatids uh, trail behind. Then next uh, telophase, uh, the telophase when they reach at the poles, then telophase started and they uh, de decondense completely or decondense and lose their individuality and the telophase and. Uh, The nuclear membrane, nucleolus, endoplasmic, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus all appear at the end of the late telophase. So telophase we can see that it is just the reverse of the prophase. And uh, what is the significance of uh, mitosis? That uh, we do mitosis, uh, mitosis to restore nucleocytoplasmic ratio and it is the main division of growth and uh, uh, and for replacement like uh, uh, the skin the surface of skin and uh, blood uh, blood vessels and glands where constant wear tear takes place it is the main division of uh, uh, replacement or repairing and uh, it in most of the animals it takes place only in the diploid cells but uh, mitosis can all, uh, also be possible in lower plants in haploid lower plants and haploid lower anim animals like one of the example of animal uh, haploid animal is in which mitosis takes place it is the worker bee or male honey bee um, then next move to the meiosis and uh, meiosis uh, it's uh, also divided into two phases that is the meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 and it star meiosis 1 starts as the uh, parent chromosome replicates themselves homologous chromosome replicates then the meiosis one starts and it is also divided into meiosis prophase one is the longest phase of the meiosis and in prophase pachytin i think pachytin is the uh, longest phase and but in mammals diplostein is the longest phase like in human female then it lasts for years also then the prophase one is divided into the five Surfaces that is the LZPD scare, leptotene, psychotene, pachytene, diplotene, and dikinesis. Leptotene means thread like stage, and uh, now they appear. And uh, uh, now, here is a uh, just like a bouquet arrangement. Um, now they are visible in the microscope. Then, uh, uh, psychotene star stage, and in this, they start pairing. And uh, the electron micrograph study shows that uh, a complex substance that is neptunimal complex helps in this and uh, as a result bivalent or tetra structure is formed. And in pachytin stage, now tetra is visible and uh, 
here a uh, crossing over the pachytene is uh, characterized by a uh, crossing over and uh, at the end of the pachytene crossing over completes and uh, the recombination nodules appear then in diplotene is uh, uh, characterized by the initiation of the uh, dissolution of the synaptonemal complex and uh, at the end of diplotene the synaptonemal complex dissolve uh, just chiasmata left then in uh, chiasmata where crossing over had take place had took place then uh, diakinesis in diakinesis uh, they move uh, uh, the there is end of the chiasmata also and chiasmata also separate then uh, here uh, diakinesis is more similar like uh, the uh, transition to prophase here the uh, that is nuclear membrane start disintegrating and the centrioles start moving and some of the like transition to prophase <laughs> then all other similar phases like now transition to diakinesis is transition to metaphase and uh, then all others are same that is metaphase anaphase telophase uh, in now metaphase the homologous chromosome will arrange at the center and uh, then and uh, they uh, they will remain attached with spindle fiber to the poles and uh, then uh, in NFA's homologous chromosome separate here there uh, the chromosome number will half but the DNA content will be double that's why the meiosis 2 is also needed then telophase here the chromosome uh, material start then disintegrating formation of the nuclear membrane other but uh, uh, in telophase 1 there is uh, not complete they uh, don't completely lose their identity because they have to enter in the next cycle that is meiosis 2 then uh, next uh, meiosis 2 is just similar to the mitosis and in mitosis prophase here uh, condensation occur and then whatever centrioles start moving towards the opposite poles and what then at metaphase here's a division of the centromere takes place but now chromosome number will not uh, uh, get halved halved and here the dna content will become half and then telophase is just like the telophase 2 is just like the mitosis the telophase of mitosis and what is the significance uh, it occurs in the germ cells and uh, uh, meiosis and fertilization are um, important for restorage of the chromosome number because euploidy is not supported in the humans or in the animals and uh, these were the some points of the cell cycle and cell division and we will see some other points of the uh, just wait like some of the points like uh, structure of protein there is primary structure secondary and tertiary uh, tertiary is mainly work as enzyme and uh, it is functional structure and uh, if there uh, would be low temperature then the activity will temporarily temp for temporary freeze and if there is high temperature then it will destroy the tertiary st structure in primary structure uh, mainly there is peptide bond in secondary the mainly hydrogen bond and in tertiary mainly there is the disulfide bond uh, although all bonds are present in tertiary like hydrogen bond peptide bond bond and uh, there is a world of wonders walls forces are also present and uh, in tertiary uh, in tertiary the peptide bond is uh, red, uh, wrapped around uh, itself and and there is formation of a packet or cleft groove and it is it work as active site and convert attached with this when substrate attached attached to this active site then this cleft convert the substrate into product and uh, then there is quaternary structure like of hemoglobin here four uh, four chains are arranged in a manner then uh, in a normal human there is uh, uh, the amount of glu glucose is 4.2 millimole per liter to 6.1 millimole per liter and the hormone is in nanogram per ml and uh, one more point is found that, that uh, there is turnover is there means any uh, in leaving system any compound doesn't accumulate in the system uh, if it, uh, it will so then uh, the activity will be uh, on the lower side and uh, the body will not 
or cell will not be able to work efficiently that's why there is a, a no accumulation of any substance and the substance which is formed con uh, uh, convert into the other substance and and it is formed in uh, from some other metabolic pathway uh, so that's all about this point thanks for watching